classic bass lines with, with synth sounds like this, but sometimes it's more useful uh, if we can automate little short sequences of music to do something else on top. Um, and that's where these modules come in. These are, are two sequences. When we talk about sequences now, we tend to mean something like a digital audio workstation, DAW software that we would run on a computer like Logic and Pro Tools and so on. Um, but all of that way of writing music was born first in machines like this, which actually just output voltages. Um, there's a clock and a series of knobs in there. I set these knobs to be particular positions. I set the clock to be a particular speed. And the idea is that on this so-called eight-step sequencer, it just cycles through each one of these knob positions and outputs the voltage that corresponds to what I've set here out of one hole. Because everything on a synthesizer like this responds to a voltage, a so-called control voltage, it doesn't really care whether or not it gets that voltage from me playing the keyboard live or from a sequencer playing a pre-programmed pattern. So I could do something like this. But as far as the synthesizer is concerned, all that's happening are certain voltages that correspond to those notes are coming out of here, from the keyboard. But if I take this lead out of the keyboard and I put it into the sequencer, we've now got a sequence that is controlled by this top row of knobs. You can see that if I start to change these, The sequence of pitches I get out changes. And I can change the speed of that. And if I'm careful, I can program a bass line or a lead line or a repeating riff on here just by getting the position of these knobs correct. 